I'd heard that Prusa organic supports were better than Cura tree supports, so I thought I'd try it out today on an AnyCubic Cobra Go. Let's jump in and find out. If you like these videos, consider liking and subscribing. It's free. Okay, so this is my second print using the Prusa slicer, and the first one failed only because of settings, but I'll get into that shortly, what to avoid. It made a huge difference once I had it set up properly and it was not difficult but this is the skull and I started off small because I didn't want to waste a lot of filament uh, doing this but the details came out fantastic there's like a pattern that they put into the skull that printed really really well it's really smooth the supports were the easiest I've ever removed ever so that's definitely a positive and I mean the the organic supports went right up inside the eyes and inside the nose Really, really easy to remove. The detail is great. I accidentally tried to remove the jawbone here, thinking that it was an organic support, but it is not. So I still have to clean up the bottom edge, as you can see. But honestly, the most difficult part of all of this was removing it from the bed. And I tend to, when I'm trying something new and experimenting, I tend to put a layer of glue onto the bed after I've cleaned it with alcohol just because I don't want to lose uh, my test. And honestly, I really don't think I needed it. That's what That was the most difficult part. But this thing is super, super cool. I'm really, really happy. I'm going to try a larger version of this. And so uh, stick around and I'll walk you through how to be able to get the Prusa slicer working very, very quickly on an AnyCubic Cobra Go. I'm sure that you'll be able to find profiles for any other printer that you might want to use on this thing. You just need to look and I'll show you where to look. The first thing that you need to do is come to the Prusa website and download the slicer. I'll put the link in the description. It's version 2.6 and here it is right down below. I just wanted to say thanks to Thomas because he was the one who mentioned that the default values for the organic supports would likely work very well without any tweaking and he was right, it did work well. In order to save time, I came and I downloaded this profile that was created by Alex Bogdan. So I wanna say thank you to him as well, but I will give you a word of caution the speeds were not adjusted on this, so when I first tried it, I had a failure because of skipping stepper motors, because the maximum speed and acceleration were set too high for the Cobra Go. So I went and adjusted those values, and I will share my profile with you that you'll be able to download it as well. So after you've downloaded Prusa, you're gonna open it up, and the first thing that you wanna do is you want to come over here and you're going to import the config file that I've placed into the description. So the name of that file is AnyCubic Cobra Go version three, Mayhem Smiley's Tweak. So I open that up and now it has loaded that configuration file. Before I go and load a model, I just want to give you just a brief tour. I'm not going to go through everything, but I will show you that up here on the right hand side, you can keep your settings simple, advanced, or expert. I'm going to leave it in expert just to be able to walk you through and show you some of the settings that I adjusted on the profile that I had found. The profile that I had found had the maximum feed rates and maximum acceleration values were much too high for the Cobra Go. So I lowered it to match and make it comparable to the Cura settings that I had for the Ender 3. So you can also come into a custom start G-code, which I had modified to match what I had on Cura. And that is my extruder calibration is right here, M92108. So that may not necessarily be good for you. If you know what yours is, enter it there. If you don't, you can delete it and you will be using your default values. I also added in the M420S1Z0. I didn't add the M420 in the S1, I just added the Z0, which turns the bed fade functionality off because that does not work well on the Cobra Go as far as I'm concerned. 
So you can come in and you can add whatever customization to your start code or your end code. This one here has the priming lines that get laid down on the left hand side of the bed before it starts to print, which I like. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single setting here on the left, but you can explore and look around and you can change it back and forth between uh, whatever you want, expert, advanced, simple. When you come here, you're going to be able to set up for your filament, for the cooling, for the advanced. You can even have custom G code for your filament. I did not change anything in here. I just left a default other than the uh, nozzle and the bed temperatures. I set these here for the values that work well for the filament that I'm working with and for my Cobra Go. You can come and play with the number of top and bottom layers just like you normally would. You can also play with the number of walls, the first layer height, and then the layer height thereafter. And 0.16 is getting pretty fine, so you want to alter that depending upon the model that you're trying to print. I did stick with these for printing that very small skull and had a very nice resolution. So over here at the infill, so I've chosen lightning in this case to fill the skull in just because I was trying to save some time and it's set to 20%. Uh, there's quite a few other settings here that you can play with for ironing. I didn't play with it. Uh, skirt and brim, you can choose your, your skirt and brim, outer brim. Support material, this is where you turn on the generate support material and auto generated support materials this is where I wanted to be able to have it create supports to the eyelets and the nose etc so I came down here and I chose right now it's defaulted on organic so if I turn that on I'm gonna get an organic I haven't played with these other two yet but I was wanting to test the organic just to see how easy or difficult it was to remove them the next one, and this is important, the values that were defaulted here from the profile that I downloaded were too fast. That's where I ended up having a stepper motor skipping and I had it where my layers were shifting very quickly. So I changed the values to match what I was using in Cura. And so it worked well with the uh, settings from Cura, as you saw before. So now here we are, I want to add the model. So just come to this little box, I click add, and the model that I used was the, uh, the Celtic skull, which I liked because it had the, uh, the eye socket cavities and it had the, the nose opening. So I wanted to see how those supports were going to work out. Now, if you want to change the size of your model, it's easy, it's just down here in the scale factor or you can actually go by size and so I just changed it down to 20% it reduced the skull so there you go so I've got my supports turned on you do your slicing down in the right hand side here and you will find if you hadn't turned on the supports you'd end up with an error down in this portion of the screen okay so I'm just going to zoom in on the skull here because I want you to be able to see that I did analyze these uh, supports. Having a look, here's how you're going to be able to play with your model. You can also use the control down key or up key to be able to move it. And I got in close and personal looking at how much interference this made with the model. And the default settings uh, keep it at a, at, a, at a very safe distance where it's not creating marks on the model where it contacts it and it's very easy to remove them. I can't say the same thing for the default settings for Cura because the default settings in Cura does not put it close where it's a very light touch. There's some finessing that needs to be done with the Cura settings for the tree supports that are very similar to this where it was very difficult to remove them. Anyways, I hope that this helps. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will keep producing videos on 3D printing and the Anycubic Cobra Go. Happy printing.